What's going on guys, TKD, one, two, three, back in video, and that's day in Black Ops 3, we got some good stuff, we got some new weapons, we got some new updates that we got, uh, I think it was two days ago, so I just want to go over some of those new weapons we got in the supply drops and all that good stuff, so let's get right into it. And as on screen here, we are start off with the legendary, the one and only, the first DLC weapon, fun fact, the first DLC weapon back in Black Ops 2, we got the Peacekeeper back at in Black Ops 3. Now, it's called the Peacekeeper MK2, and uh, this is in combat training only because uh, at the time of getting this gameplay, the gun was officially not out in the regular public, and that was the only way to be able to play with the gun, so you know I got onto... Uh, combat training and got this gameplay for you and yes this is legitimate this is not photoshop no actually this is the real uh this this is the real deal so the peacekeeper plays exactly how it played back in black ops 2 when it first dropped like and that is to the t it feels like the exact same weapon you know obviously because you know with the same engine you know it's the same developer but it feels so good it feels i don't know why but i i love the way this peacekeeper plays they didn't change much about the peacekeeper and that's something that you know is a done deal for me because the peacekeeper was great back in black ops 2 and i'm pretty sure it will be great here in black ops 3 and uh, i've been hearing some people think that you know the gun is very very strong and it's kind of op uh i'm not sure how it is against people because i haven't played it with against people because i don't have it in the spot jobs yet but uh just based off of this combat training it was very strong but you know granted i was playing with bots so take it with a grain of salt but um i definitely felt that the game was strong and i feel like it could probably stand up to you know guns like the hvk or the ma so it definitely is a great gun next up over the weapons that dropped today in the supply drops is the db sr50 and that sounds familiar it is actually a play off of the sniper back in black ops 2 the dsr now it's not the completely same sniper don't don't get that impression uh, it has two barrels in it yes it has two barrels but it's still a bolt action rifle and how it works is that you can fire two shots off of this thing before having to bolt the back you know do whatever you do with the bolt action sniper and uh, reload the bullet and uh, I obviously don't have this weapon but um, you know I saw some people use it on YouTube and you know I saw some gameplay of it and it looks like at least from the chest up uh, you will get a one hit kill but now you have two chances so you know you can um, potentially get two kills with cocking it back you know by hitting him one and with the other barrel so i mean you know i haven't played with it but it looks pretty strong to me you know based off of gameplay and the last dlc open we got was called the r70 ajax lmg and this one is interesting because it has unlimited ammo yes all you have is 50 bullets in the clip and then if you burn through those 50 you will have to pause and let the gun cool down and then your 50 bullets will kind of come back over time. So it's kind of like as if it was a 3D printer and it prints the bullets, you know, as you go. But uh, that's basically how it works. So, you know, you get 50 shots. If you run those 50 shots, you will have to wait until the gun cools down and you'll be able to get some more ammo. I actually saw Chaos up on his channel. I'll link it down below, you know, the actual clip. But he got like a six-man feed off of this gun. So, you know... I Obviously, you know, it's pretty strong and even he says in the video that uh, he feels that this is slightly overpowered Which is you know something that you know I can't say it is just because you know I don't I haven't played with it But based off of what I've seen, you know, like I said with the sniper uh, it looks pretty strong You know if he says it's OP then it's you know, probably probably OP And last thing I want to talk about in this video was some of the updates that we got to the game from the update that we got um, A couple days ago and uh, one of the things is that they nerfed the CUDA's range man. Why you got? Come on, man. Not the CUDA, though. I love the CUDA. It's a great SMG. It's a great gun. It's kind of like my, you know, fallback weapon in case everything's going kind of sour. I fall back to the CUDA, but, you know, now uh, its range has been kind of meh. So uh, we're going to stay from the CUDA. But something that you want to stay away from, you know, extremely, just like way out, way out, way out, is the VMP. Now, uh, it says that they, quote, reduce recoil ability, unquote, but um, they mess up the VMP bad, yo. It kicks like crazy. It kicks so bad. It, it is stupid how much that gun kicks now. So um, the VMP, uh, if you loved it, you're going to hate it now. You're going to want to just stay away from that gun. Stay way, way from that gun. Don't even touch it with an 8-foot pole, for real. Like, just stay away from that VMP. And one of my top AR choices, the Man of War, got reduced reload speed and the reduced ADS speed. So uh, that's good. I love the Man of War, so, you know, I'm glad that they're giving us some love. And uh, the next three weapons are weapons that are from Supply Drops. So you may or may not have these weapons. I only have one of these weapons. But uh, I'm just going to go over them real quick just in case you have them. They buff the HG40's 3-hit kill range, the MP40, basically. Uh, they uh, buff the 3-hit kill range. 
I don't have it at all because, you know, you got to love supply drops, right? But uh, the next weapon I do have is called the MX Garand, uh, you know, the playoff of the M1 Garand from World at War. And that uh, this got an increased recoil speed, recoil stability, and hip fire accuracy. So I guess you, know, you can hit fire with this weapon. Um, it has a better, I guess, recoil time of when it kicks and when it goes back into center speed. And uh, it got more recoil stability. So uh, I guess, you know, it's a pretty good gun um, as of now. I never really hated that gun. I just kind of felt like it wasn't really my thing to use that gun. I didn't. I didn't perform that well with the gun, not that, you know, it was bad, but it just wasn't my cup of tea. And probably the gun that I want the most out of the supply drops, the FFAR, the FAMAS. Uh, it got an increased recoil stability, hit fire accuracy, and ADS speed. So um, it looks like it got, you know, a little bit better here, and um, I wish, you know, I had this weapon, but you gotta love supply drops. They also did a few more things, like they added rewards and medals to the new game mode fracture so if you like that game mode you'll be getting medals specifically to that game mode along with that they have a ton of map fixes you know with empire and like a bunch of other maps uh they uh, fix some you know bugs and gem spots on those maps along with a bunch of zombie fixes which i'm not going to go over you can look at the list down below i'll link it in the description but uh, there was a ton of fixes to across you know the majority of the maps um on zombies so yeah that was you know some things about the new weapons and the update from black ops 3 if you guys enjoyed the content down below you can leave me a comment let me know what you guys think about these new weapons if you guys have them let me know which ones you want let me know which ones you hate let me know if you guys would think two chains would try to reload the lmg even though it has unlimited ammo let me know down in the comments below also, while you're down there, check out my description. You can find my links over there, my Instagram, Snapchat, Twitter, all that good stuff. You can follow me on there. Also, if you enjoyed the content down below, you can like, share, subscribe, all that good stuff. Support the channel, support me. I really appreciate all the love you guys give me on the videos. Thank you guys for watching. And as always, I got you.